What's up, YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to the Saving Men's Lives Network. Hopefully you guys had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Hanukkah to all my Jewish brethren. I wanted to reach out to you guys today to talk about a portion of male nature. Now I know, we talk about female nature a lot here and we should and we're going to because there's so many men out there who don't know enough about female nature and it's what is a constant source of trouble and anguish for them. But today we're going to stick a little closer to home and we're going to talk about the rescue paradox that exists inside of all men and little boys who one day be men. Part of our nature is to protect those who are weaker than us. This includes children, sometimes wounded animals, and of course women. Part of our nature is to procreate which is why we have the life-giving seed that a woman will carry to full term inside of her body after the fertilization of her egg. But also, our nature is to generate provisions because men build. The entire world you see was built by men. It's maintained by men. And as a veteran, and also shout out to my first responders in law enforcement, and fire and rescue, we, we defend the world as well to keep it from falling down around us. So today I want to talk about the three reasons why you can't save her. And what I mean by that is a lot of times we as guys will see a girl. She checks off all the boxes of what we like physically. We don't know her name. We don't know anything about her. So we go and approach her. For those of us who are still trying to date and still be active in the dating market, you go over to her, you try to talk to her. Hopefully she's receptive. Let's say she is best case scenario. She likes you too. You guys chop it up a little bit. You swap numbers. Talk for a little while and you make something happen. Fantastic. That's the best case scenario. So let's take that out to its furthest conclusion. Let's say over the course of you talking to her, trying to discover more about her, you find out that she is a jammed up individual. Family issues, work issues, previous trauma, ex-boyfriends, God help you, baby daddy, or baby daddies, plural, if you really, really want to live dangerously. There's a lot going on with this woman, with this girl, before you ever showed up in the picture. Now, part of us, our nature is to swoop in on a white horse and uh, like a superhero and save the day. But I'm going to give you three reasons why you can't save her, fellas. Number one, Saving her is rescue energy, which is noble. I don't begrudge you because this factor also exists inside of me as well. And I've also played the fool in trying to save a woman. So you're not alone in that. But rescue energy is boyfriend material energy. And in a woman's mind, with very few exceptions, boyfriend material energy means her sexual scraps. You see, a woman can't give you the best out of her if she sees you as boyfriend material. She's going to restrain herself in certain aspects in the bedroom because she doesn't want you to, quote, see her that way, unquote. Now, she's never going to be honest with you about this. If she sees you as the kind of guy, a Chad, a Tyrone, a Pookie, a Ray Ray, Oh, man, you can throw the gate open for what she's willing to try, what positions she's prepared to do enthusiastically. If she wants to bring a friend in, it's a lot that can go down. If she thinks you're the kind of guy who is a Chad or a Pookie or Ray Ray or a Tyrone, because that guy is a select guy and a select guy is the kind of guy that she's gonna think in her head oh man i better throw this i better throw everything but the kitchen sink at this guy because other women want this dude so i gotta stand out amongst my <laughs> sisterhood so for that guy oh yeah sky's the limit but for boyfriend material she's gonna make you damn near beg for certain positions oh i don't do that i, I it makes me feel uncomfortable Meanwhile, Drake's tour bus put up in front of her house. There's nothing she wouldn't do. 
So bear that in mind. Saving her is rescue energy. Rescue energy is boyfriend material energy. And you never want to be boyfriend material to any woman you find attractive. Number two. The, the damage done to this woman. Okay. The damage done to this woman was done decades before you ever laid eyes on her. We're talking about the nonstop F.E. Eminence programming from kindergarten to graduation. We're talking about the media, both social and otherwise. The songs on the radio. And her female relatives and friends, quote unquote, because as, you, if, as we well know. If you watch my content and content like mine, you know, women don't have friends. Women have sexual rivals. And as a result, they seek to constantly undermine each other, sabotage each other. Because if you sabotage your friend, that means you just might have access to that top shelf guy and put her out of the running. While smiling in her face and taking selfies with her. Plotting her behind her back. That's the difference between them and us, fellas. We're very overt in our conversation style. Women are very covert. James Bond, CIA, KGB type in their communication style. So, yeah, the damage done to her, her perception of herself, her perception of men in general, and her perception of you in specific will be skewed by this. You can't deprogram a woman 20, 25, 30 years of continuous Propaganda She's been spoon fed Since she was just learning how Her colors and numbers and letters Back in kindergarten class Don't waste your time And number three It's no point trying to fix What somebody else broke You don't believe me? Ask yourself this question You ever tried to fix a broken plate? You know, you were doing too much in the kitchen. Maybe your hands was covered in soap water and you slipped out your hand and hit the floor. Bam! Crashed to a million pieces. You ever tried to pick the pieces up? Get some crazy glue, some duct tape, some masking tape, some scotch tape and put that plate back together? Okay. How'd it look when you were finished? And would you trust yourself to eat off it afterwards? Do you think it could, it could survive a cycle through the dishwasher once you were finished? And the glue dried? No, of course not. You got a broom in a dustpan, you threw it away like you were supposed to. It's no point in picking up somebody else's broken pieces. Because if you try, this is the other part of it, fellas. Women are very, very conscious of the world around them. They're often oblivious to the facts of the matter because their feelings will often take precedence over facts because their feelings to them are their facts. But they're very, very observant. And a man who will step into somebody else's broken situation and try to become the glue, the duct tape, the Velcro. She's laughing at this guy behind his back while sucking up his free attention, sucking up his financial resources and throwing him some sexual crumbs in the bedroom. Fixing what somebody else broke, fellas. Fixing all the one night stands she had before she met you. Fixing the fact that her daddy left for whatever reason way before she met you. Fixing all of the Megan Thee Stallion lyrics she can quote back to you once the beat hits. All that damage to her psyche that happened before you even got there. If you try by exerting boyfriend material energy. You will find yourself overpaying for vagina every single time. You'll find yourself doing for this woman what no other guy before you had to do. And he got the guts day one, day three, day five at the worst. Here you are a month in and you still waiting, still dating, still dining, still flowers, still candy, still teddy bears, still I good morning beautiful text. Still good night, beautiful text. Still doing that goofy bullshit that none of the guys before you to smash day one ever had to do or was asked to do. Don't be that guy. You can't save her. She don't want to be saved. Shout out to J. Cole. Link to his video down in the description. With that, that's my time. 
like the video, comment down below, share with a friend, and subscribe to the channel. We're growing, fellas, and I want to thank you guys, subscribers old and new alike. We're growing, we're gaining momentum. I'm looking forward to the new year as it closely and closely approaches. Never let your brother suffer in silence when the truth can set him free. Network as we working. Till next time.